On January the 25th, President of the United States, Donald Trump, followed through with one of his campaign promises and signed the executive order to deport undocumented immigrants. On Monday's Beyond the Headlines, host Lou Smith got expert views on the potential impact of Trump's immigration policy for Grenada and the Caribbean region. The panel comprised of Juna George, media practitioner, New York correspondent Grenadian living in New York, Denelson George, Grenadian-born U.S. attorney, Glenroy George, Grenadian-born U.S. attorney, and Kellen Bubb, New York correspondent. Undocumented nationals living in the U.S. have been urged to seek citizenship if they have that option. I think the, the, the best insurance policy uh, that one can have in this uh, under this Trump regime uh, is to essentially uh, file uh, to become a U.S. citizen if you have a path to citizenship. Essentially, having a green card does not shield you, and I think people miss that point. It does not shield you from any kind of enforcement, okay? Undocumented persons are also being advised to be careful in their haste to deal with the possibility of deportation. They were warned that it's no time to wind up committing a crime. What happens in a situation like that? You lose just about everything they have there or what? Well, I mean, pay taxes, if, if you work and you pay taxes, you could actually file and get your tax money back. Um, there's nothing that prevents you from leaving the United States with uh, uh, your wages or your savings. But um, people have to be careful if they're undocumented and file in with uh, fake social security number. Uh, that is a felony. One of the concerns for Caribbean citizens is how prepared are the authorities to handle an influx of potential deportees. One caller to the program says she is sad for undocumented people who may have burned some serious bridges on their step up to the U.S. It was some of them that went to New York and they never studied their family. They true. never studied their family, so it's very sad. No. Where they're going? Yes. Who they're coming back? Trump faced major hurdles in his quest to bar people from five countries from entering the country, but has announced plans to implement a similar measure very soon. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.